Hey guys, what's going on everyone? It's Farid Morias here. Today I'm not alone. Together with me, bro, what's your name bro? My name is Karo Ashraf. What's up, brothers? Alright bro. Guys, today I'm going to speak about ATH fragrances. Okay, ATH is originated from the UK. One of the most famous brand in terms of the punya perfumer, also a reviewer, also the they open your scent profile. Without further ado, I'm going to start with three categories. The first one is the affordable ones. Second one is the expensive one, at least yang top sikit lah. And third one is the best seller. Bro, best seller kenapa? Because diorang memang top notch. Everyone love this fragrance and diorang punya scent profile memang 10 out of 10. Let's jump start with the first fragrance. This is Ozone. Okay, I just spray it on the test strip. So I'm gonna try the scent. I'm gonna smell the scent and let you know. Okay, for me lah, Ozone ni very coconut, a little bit of creaminess at the same time dia macam ada macam acidic facet dia yeah. macam minty tapi dia macam ada lemony sikit betul betul what do you think bro this is a very uplifting scent if you guys are looking a perfect scent for malaysian weather especially korang pergi time panas dia pun sejuk pun boleh you guys wear something like this very dia ada peppermint dia ada coconut dia ada vanilla a bit like woody so this one memang sangat-sangat uplifting Memang special lah, memang perfect for Malaysia weather. Sedap gila, highly so, recommended. So do you think the ada macam samaan dengan Virgin Island Water? Yes, okay. to be honest, masa first time try, memang dia ada a little bit of Virgin Island Water, but to me a much better version than Virgin Island Water. Okay, so out of ten, what would you rate, bro? Wow, this is not that expensive, tapi to me this is among my top ten out of ten. I would say eight or eight point five. Eight out of ten, guys. So kalau korang yang peminat coconut scent ataupun peminat lah Creed Virgin Island Water, don't look any further, guys. Check out this one fragrance. This is Ozone by ATH. The next one in the list, we still dalam kumpulan yang affordable ones yang kita mampu milik. This is Maverick, macam ala ala Top Gun lah. Okay, <laughs> Maverick macam ala ala Top Gun. Top Gun. Eh? So kalau korang minat Tom Cruise, korang kena pakai. Kena pakai Maverick. Yes. <laughs> It is a fresh fragrance. Again, a fresh fragrance that I feel like very suitable for us in Malaysia, but comes with some kind of sweetness. There, whether macam dia punya tonka bean, dia punya dia punya vanilla. So I feel like if you want the idea of getting compliments from people, yeah, I feel like this one is a great one. Maverick to me, in a simplified terms, lah. Uh, if you guys are looking into something a bit fresh, tapi dark at the same time. You guys want something a bit oriental, spicy sikit. Maverick is awesome. To be honest, Maverick is one of the top recommended people in Malaysia lah. Bila orang beli, memang they love, 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 love Maverick. Because of versatility mm. and also it smells expensive with the price point. Orang cakap macam bau Armani Code. Betul ke? I would say ada DNA lah. DNA, there ada DNA, DNA sikit lah. Not the same. It's totally different. But there is some similarity. I think from the Tonka Bean. Uh, maybe. Tonka I feel bean. like maybe of the licorice vibe. Licorice vibe, yep, yep. the sweetness a bit, the freshness a bit. So, yep. mungkin bukan clone, mungkin bukan dupe. But to me, I feel like it is within the same family, within the same genre. Yep. So, out of 10, bro? Oh, this one, bro. Another 8.5 for me. Another 8.5, guys. So, for those who really love Armani Code, or the Parfum, Parfum, ataupun Eau de Toilette, you might love this one also. This is Maverick by ATH. Okay, the third one, so kita masih, again, masih dalam affordable <laughs> ones lah. So, but I know some people, they don't want to spend thousand bucks mm. untuk perfume. Yeah. So, this is Slut. I don't want to say this. Might, might as well YouTube band aku ke apa, aku tak tahu lah. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Slut. Okay, it's quite a borderline unisex fragrance. Okay. Which to me, kalau perempuan pakai, Mungkin lini ke arah feminine. Yes, correct. Kalau laki pakai dia ke arah masculine yang very sexy, very um, yeah. Casanova punya style yeah, lah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, this slut is a new version of slut. Dulu mia is totally different. The new one to me is a bit more mass pleasing sikit and a sexier version of the new slut. To me, slut ni it has a bit of uh, fresh fruity opening, but then it gets a bit darker bila masuk transition into mm. the tonka bean and vanilla. This is super sexy, seductive mia fragrance lah. On women, it's more feminine. On men, it's more masculine. So, memang this is a bit unique scent, but very, very niche quality, in my opinion. So, I think ah, kalau husband and wife pakai, so it's okay lah. Satu perfume, kongsi dua orang. Boleh, boleh bro. Boleh, right? Boleh sangat bro. Save Because money bro. Dudu akan bau a bit different, yes. to be honest. Right, uh, exactly, exactly. So, out of 10 bro, slut, what do you think? 
Oh man, I know <laughs> we shouldn't say this, but man, it's nine, bro. It's nine. nine, bro. It's, it's nine. a nine, bro. For those who just get married, tak tahu nak beli perfume apa for your wife, for yourself, grab this one, Slut by ATH. Top notch, bro. Daddy, daddy, come to me. Okay, <laughs> that is the next fragrance. Okay, daddy, daddy, come to me. The next fragrance. This is within the the category yang expensive lah, ataupun high end lah. Yeah, yeah. Yang at least berapa ribu bro? Oh, it'll be about one k lah. One k and above lah. This is daddy. To me, is uh, dia punya top note dia ada sedikit bright, but at the same time, as it tones down, korang akan dapat garment facet. Yeah. Garment facet, which yep. to me it reminds me a bit of Parfums de Marly Leighton. Okay. Yeah, the blue one. A lot of question lah. Nak tanya, people ask me, mm. uh, need dupe Leighton ke? Is it the same like Leighton or whatever? So to me, right, it's a bit fresh, a bit creamy, a bit sweet from the fruity. Ada dapat macam pineapple-ish, apple-ish mia vibe. But the beautiful part comes in when there are the wood too. The wood? The wood. There, there is wood inside, but it's a very smooth wood. So you get this very elegant, expensive kind of quality fragrance. Huh? You wear this, Girls will love you, bro. The girls will love you, man. So this one is the like, macam ni lah, panty dropper fragrance lah, bro. Something like that, I would say lah. I would Something say like lah. Not okay. only me saying it, but this is coming from the random girls also lah, saying that. So yeah. Okay, guys, you looking for your crush? Gonna say hi. Gonna ask for dinner. Please, pakai daddy. Oh man, okay. You is... might, they might call you daddy straight away after that. <laughs> might be, bro. Might be. But... Oh, daddy to me is ten out of ten lah. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Solid, bro. Ten out of ten. Solid, perfection. Solid. So. Grab this one if you want to be called daddy. Alright guys, the next fragrance is for those who enjoy wood perfume lah kan? Yes. This is Onyx Extreme. What is so special about this fragrance? The moment I bau bau perfume ni, I feel like it is not your typical wood and rose. Of course, there's a combination. There's some concoction. Wood, rose with some earthiness, yeah. balsamic, patchouli. Yeah. Tapi what is so, apa, uh, pop out dekat perfume ni, dia punya mozi of moss tu. Yeah. So it's a bit special sebab tak banyak perfume yang wood yeah. combined together with of moss. What yang Farid cakap is totally correct lah. Because in this lineup, house there are the two. One is Onyx, one is Onyx Extreme. But this one is to me a bit more unique lah. A bit, a bit different lah compared to my collection yang ada rose and wood in the market. This one concentrates a lot in the rose and wood. And they use Thai wood lah specifically. Thai wood, guys. But with the combination of the oak moss too, it really creates a more like earthy, unique new style of rose wood. It's a bit more oriental and sexy, yeah, more elevated rose wood perfume lah. I would say. And at the same time, I feel like this one they're a bit mess pleasing wood, kan? Yes, correct. Mess pleasing wood. So if you don't enjoy something that is too skanky, too powerful, too yep. pungent. I feel like this is the answer. Onyx Extreme. Out yes. of 10, bro? Oh, to me, this is going to be another 9. 9? Nine. Another 9, nine out of 10. Me. Yep. 9 out of 10. Because missing one point, because I feel like that's so more enjoy good. Right? Yes, correct. Mm. So, 9 out of 10, this is Onyx Extreme for those who just want to get into the world of wood, wood. perfume. Kalau tadi kita bercakap pasal entry level wood, this one, dia suka wood, tapi dia tak suka yang terlalu skanky. Yep. This is wood. By ATH, nama dia memang Oud Sajid. Yes, yes. I feel like this perfume, bila kita bau, I get the Oud, of course I get the Oud. I got some uh, pungent vibe a bit, a yeah. bit, but not too much, yeah. with some balsamic nuances here and there. Yeah, correct. With rose, of course, yep. memang tu macam the basic concoction lah. Yes. Oud and rose, Oud and rose, here yep. and there. Yep. Dia macam sedikit macam the moon, is it? What do you think? Maybe slightly lah, I would say lah. Slightly, slightly lah. But uh, the very more like uh, tone down of moon lah, I would say. More yeah. memang kau kau lah. Mm. More is cita kau kau. Wood, this wood basically right, if you guys wanna enjoy start nak masuk into wood fragrance right, this is one of the good ones lah I would recommend. Why? Smells very nice. It's not too banyak, they not too skanky. And also, this wood, they are a bit fruity. A bit fruity, ada rose, ada raspberry sikit, ada wood, Thai wood. So, it's a very nice entry level of wood lah, I would say. Okay, so I feel like this one, kalau ada satu perfume which is the name is The Moon by Frederick Ma, to me, it's a little bit too strong, a little bit too pungent, to myself lah. Yep. So, kalau korang minat macam tu, tapi nak something yang is more wearable, more mass pleasing, I feel like this one is the answer lah. Yes. Wood by ATH. Yep. Correct. Out of 10, bro. This is another 9 to me. 9 out of 10. Guys, another 9 out of 10. Because this video memang, memang 10 of the best. So, dia punya range dia memang 
8 per 10 ke atas lah Yeah, exactly Alright, exactly, 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 exactly. Okay. exactly. Ud by ATH Alright guys, enough with the Ud fragrance lah Okay, sekarang kita nak cakap pasal Gourmand Gourmand ni dia ke arah yang edible Macam dessert yeah. Something that we can eat Something that we can enjoy So this is the forbidden fragrance in the world Forbidden <laughs> by ATH Alright Forbidden bro, kalau korang diet, korang tak ada pakai perfume ni Oh ya yeah, ya yeah. Memang, memang clear risk out lah Kalau okay. pergi gym semua, jangan pakai perfume Jangan pakai Yes <laughs> Bahaya, so, bahaya perfume ni It smells like dessert to me With hmm. some sweet, bright A little bit of citrusy on top yep. With some vanilla With some chocolatey facet yep. At the same time, dia punya chocolate tu bukan setakat chocolate tau Dia mm. macam, korang makan tak chocolate dengan orange And sometimes they have this yes. they have, uh, combination of chocolate and orange yes. I do get that vibe lah For Gourmand, Malaysia weather, it depends But to me, one of the most beautiful Gourmand out there I highly recommend because I'm a Gourmand lover lah Gourmand is well balanced They're a bit fresh, a bit dark there's oud, tapi oud dia balance gila Very balance, this just a support je lah You get a lot of Like a chocolate, orange uh, Cherry, a bit rum A bit oud, very woody, sensual I would call it sensual, sensual fragrance lah Very intimate fragrance Yeah. Do you think it's close to skin ke tak? No, this projects very loud Guys, yeah, this very... one projects like crazy As per our expert here Yeah, okay? this projects Because I've never tried this one before So, I have to ask for his advice this okay. one project kau kau. If you want to impress that girl in the next door, mm. kau orang masuk je pakai ni kau keluar balik. Dia akan cari kau. Dia akan cari kau. Sure go. one, sure one lah. Go. Okay. For the gourmand lovers out there who enjoy fragrance macam apa perfume gourmand? Oh, Black Killian ke? Eh, Black uh, Killian, Black Phantom. Black Phantom. Black Killian. Yeah. Ataupun uh, Roja Sweety Oud. Roja Sweety Oud ataupun like Sar Salvato Ferragamo, one more. Yeah. The, the tiramisu one. Yeah. You might enjoy this one also, guys. Okay. You might enjoy this one also. This one is for the gourmand lovers out there Highly that enjoy it. something that is unique, something that is different, something that pops out from the rest of the community. Yeah. Okay. Correct. So this is sorry. This is. Forbidden by Etihad. Wow. Okay, before I jump into the apa yang best sellers, for those who interested nak beli Etihad lah, mm. you guys straight away can contact my bro right here. Yeah. I will put in the first link down here on the description. Boleh straight away contact him the WhatsApp ataupun the Facebook. Mm. Say hi. Hey, I want to buy Etihad fragrance. Okay. Yeah. Sure, he will reply within five minutes. So kalau korang nak beli, boleh. The first link in the description down below And of course, you enjoy this video Please hit the like button Leave some comments also And also subscribe to my channel So now, kita masuk kepada The realm of the best seller fragrances Daripada ATH yeah. So, kenapa best seller? Of course, sebab orang suka lah So that means the community, the mm. people yep. Memang enjoy gila perfume perfume ni yep. Regardless of the price So the next fragrance Is the one that I already mentioned just now But I feel like it deserves a lot of attention from the community yep. also from the users the customers out there yep. so again this is daddy daddy come yeah. to me daddy, daddy come to me <laughs> daddy daddy come to me so again daddy ni a very nice fragrance it's fresh it's balanced out with some sweet notes so it is within the expensive ones yep. tapi people still consume people still buy yes. so that's why they're within bestseller yes. so guys again daddy grab this one Kalau korang minat perfume yang ala-ala Parfum Zimari Layton lah uh, Not similar But something that Can attract a lot of people yes. Get you compliments You love it And people compliment you Alright So Again Daddy by Eddie The next one Dalam kita punya list hari ni Untuk best seller adalah This one fragrance Which I feel like It's very mass pleasing Tapi dia unique and weird Okay This is Notorious By Eddie Hash I don't want to speak so much about this fragrance. I will let the expert to apa, explain to you. Yep. But what I get straight away from the perfume is very fruity, it's yep. very tart, it's yep. very juicy. Yep. Daripada note plum. Yes. Not your typical pineapple lah, this one lah, that one lah. Yeah. This one is different. Plum. They're utilizing plum with some rum notes. Okay. Yes. So it's a little bit boozy. Yep. A little bit masculine and I feel like very sophisticated lah. What do you think bro? Simple. If you love rum, you're gonna love this. If you love the rum notes, you love the plum notes right in the fragrance, this is something you should grab. This is like a, I would say a bad boy fragrance. Those players, those bad boys, you wanna impress your girls or something, first date, you can also wear Notorious. This is 
magnificent this is very beautiful sexy fragrant bad boyish a bit mysterious so if you guys are into like plum rum yeah woody slightly mm. sweet and woody fresh this is something you should try you should grab so this kalau orang tu umur 60 tahun ke 20 years old ke do you think it suit well lah to me it suits every age lah every tapi age kalau lah. yes lah orang 60 years want to feel young right yeah. so by notorious lah bro okay yeah. so you want to feel young <laughs> grab this one it's for the boys out there yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. you know what you are doing lah ah. okay <laughs> you know what you are doing lah okay you you're doing the right thing you're doing the right thing <laughs> out of 10 bro please let our audience know. Ooh, notorious. Uh, to me, I would say another nine. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, guys. This is notorious. Unique, weird, but get, but get you the girls that you want. Okay. Notorious. <laughs> the last one in the list. Okay. Last one in the list. To me, bau dia taklah ke arah yang niche sangat kan? Okay. It's not that niche lah bau dia. Dia macam ala ala Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Mm -hmm. This is hard candy elixir. Okay, hard candy elixir. To me, it's very bubblegummy. Hmm. Opens up very fruity. Yep. Tapi, adakah ianya sama dengan Ultramel? My first answer, no and no and no. <laughs> no and no and no. This is the darker version of hard candy lah. There is a little bit of vibe like Ultramel. Maybe from the fruity notes lah. Like a pear, you know the pear notes too mm. fruity. Maybe you get that vibe. Tapi, if you, if you compare side by side, to me, it's totally different. It's a different whole level when you compare Ultra Male and Hard Candy Elixir. If not, I would just say it, it's basically a dupe of Ultra Male. I wouldn't recommend this. But this is one of the top best seller here in Malaysia. Mm. Not only in Malaysia, in US, in UK, in Europe. A lot of people are buying Hard Candy Elixir because it's a very sexy, seductive fragrance. Night fragrance for you. Alright, it is a night ataupun evening fragrance or yep. cold weather perfume because I feel like this one is a little bit too sweet mm. to my taste. Mm. But I know some people really enjoy this kind of scent lah. Yep. So yep. adakah ianya sama dengan uh, John Paul Gaultier Ultra Mel? I, to be honest, if you ask me also, I don't find this clone vibe lah tak ada pun. It's just that it is within the same genre. Yeah, it reminds you lah sikit. Yeah, it, it reminds you a bit here and there. Yep. Mungkin of the notes, a part of the notes. Yep. And maybe dalam within the same family. Yeah. But make it more complex. That's what you get with Heart Candy Elixir. This one, bro. 9.5. 9.5. Grab this one, Heart Candy Elixir. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. So, these are 10 best fragrances that I feel like it deserve, they deserve a lot of attention from the people. 10 out of 10 fragrances. All top notch. They're good at what they are doing. Yep. They're best at what they are doing. Again, if you want to buy, please hit my bro right here, my broski right here. The first link in the description down below. And again, don't forget to hit the like button, leave some comments, let me know what is your favorite ATH fragrance. Because I want to know so. Because to be honest, I tak try semua pun. I mean, mm. food wearing, I tak try semua. Yep. I just smell here and there because my bro lah. Mm. He always bring to me. I bought, <laughs> I bought, I think one or two only. Always remember, love, power, and strength. Okay, I see you guys in the next video. Ciao.